Little known fact, before he was your favorite feminist mauling YouTuber, Baring had many career failures. Sure, he's glamorous now. I believe in miracles. But that hasn't always been the case. Baring's career has seen times of great feast and times of lengthy hibernation. Today we take an exclusive peek at some of Baring's lesser known work, the stumbles he had on his rise to become the bear you know today. Oddly enough, it was never Baring's intent to become an entertainer. It was more a product of circumstance that started many years ago with an unfortunate accident. Sugar Tits hired some outside help for work around the house. Okay, Goldilocks. Oh wow, you sure do enjoy that porridge, don't you? Well, we're glad to have you as our new housekeeper. I'm sure the fact that you haven't met Bering and in addition can't speak or do sign language won't be an issue at all. And Bering was a little confused when he got home. Jesus, who the fuck are you? You scared the shit out of me. Kid, don't you know how to talk? And is that my porridge? I said, who the fuck are you? And put my fucking porridge down, you little slut. Ah, oh, fuck this, you're dead, kid! Baring was able to settle the assault charges out of court, but saddled with a mountain of medical bills and restitution, he needed to look for money. And fast. Lucky for him, at the time, there was big demand for actors to play bear characters, and Baring responded to every ad he could. He made a visit to Hanna-Barbera. Hello, Boo-Boo. Hey, Yogi. You know, Boo-Boo, I've finally got me a plan to escape this park for good. What's the plan, Yogi? Well, Boo-Boo, I figure I could get the ranger to let me walk right out those park gates. Gee, how will you do that, Yogi? Well, Boo-Boo, I'll just tell him if he doesn't let me, I'll call the cops and tell him all about those dead prostitutes he keeps burying down near the creek. He made a visit to Disney. Hello, Piglet. I seem to have run out of honey for my tummy. May I borrow just a teeny tiny jar from you? Oh, Pooh, I don't have any more honey. You ate it all yesterday. Listen, cunt, let me level with you. I can fucking have honey for lunch, or I can fucking have pork belly. Choice is yours, motherfucker. But in each case, directors decided to look elsewhere for talent, and Baring became desperate for anything he could get. He took on minor supporting roles. He even tried his paw at stand-up, substituting for a comedian who got sick on tour. <laughs> kids you know i never wear shoes i always have bare feet waka 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 all right go fuck yourself you little cunts fucking santa's not even real though he wasn't finding his niche bearing's persistence was at least earning him name recognition at one point he nearly broke into hollywood hey brah well holy cunt musket it is you I was like standing just over there having a piss. I looked over here and I was like, no way, that can't be him, but it's totally you. Hey, can I have an autograph, man? You're like my favorite actor ever. Bruh? You're, um, you're, you're just going to ignore me, bruh? Right. Eat bear fist, Polly Shaw! Frustrated watching other bears succeed in roles he couldn't secure, Bering was forced to take on odder and odder jobs to try to make ends meet. How long have I been up here for? Uh, about six minutes. And how long's my shift? Eight hours. Fuck this. Those jobs couldn't pay the bills, however, and Bering endured periods of homelessness. Through that struggle, he was at least able to hone his survival skills. You know, when I was in the Special Forces, we didn't need drink bottles or even coconut shells. None of that shit. We were the best in the world. We learned how to piss directly into our own mouths. But you know, if you ever find yourself stranded out in the bush, it really can be the difference between life and death, simply knowing which animals' anuses are edible and which aren't. This lot of anuses is just about ready now. Actually, it's not too bad. Don't knock it till you try it. The highs, the lows, and the finer points of Bering's career. We'll discuss all this and more when he and Sugar Tits guest on my podcast live Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. My name is Skag3, and I hope to see you there. Links are in the description. They sure are. Thanks, Skag. 
You know, Skag3 is one of my favourite YouTubers. He's insightful, entertaining, and quite frankly, fucking hilarious. I mean, the bloke ate an anus on a stick for this video. If that's not dedication to producing great content, I don't know what is. Show Skag your support by visiting his channel and hitting the subscribe button. And I'll see you on Saturday's podcast. Cheers.